Now, morning everybody. Tomato picking day to day. Yes, very excited. Well, I'm going to rephrase that. Let me just walk through this bloody jungle. Yesterday was the tomato picking day. There is no tomatoes today. No, what we're on about, Tony? Well, I came up yesterday and what a heap, mind you. What a day. Just have a little look. Isn't it, man? So I came up yesterday, did a video, lovely video. Got a few things wrong in the video about me tomato picking, but went home, had a check, stabilisation was off. Oh, man, I've got stabilisation on now, but <laughs> it was brutal. I couldn't even watch it. Do you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know, it's, just, it's gone. So I've picked the tomatoes, but what I've come up for today is to show you what the bereft of what's left and hopefully now that I've picked them, because what we'll do is we'll go down to my house. I've got the whole load down there and we'll go through them and I'll show you them. Do you know what I mean? Because there's some lovely looking ones, to be honest. I'm not giving any of these ones away. So, here we go. Look, it's, my biggins have gone. A couple of biggins there. What I'm hoping for, and I mean, I, I didn't pick any of these. I kind of come up and just pick these ones. I think these are toddlers. I just pick them when I need them. Do you know what I mean? But man, they're going wild guns. I've let them, I was mentioning this, I've let them go, you know, like just sprouting off. I don't know if it's, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. But what my hope is now that I've took biggins off, they will generate more biggins, you know, especially like the, the beef tomatoes. I think I've lost that one. I mean, there's still tomatoes there. That is a pork chop, I think. And I've, I think they've been pretty horrifically bad. I've got them down home, so we'll see, see there as well. <laughs> That's nearly to the, like, the actual pinnacle of the, the top. So I took big beef tomatoes off everywhere. I've got one there, but I'm just, you know, like, I'm, I'm, on, I'm home alone. Do you know what I mean? I'm kind of, Wife and son are in Japan, so I can't eat that many tomatoes. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's the tomatoed up, to be honest. But I wanted to show you something as well. This is actually interesting. So, you know, so I'm hoping I've got this stabilisation on. So you remember, like, you're cutting leaves off, you know what I mean? See how I've cut, like, the bottom leaves off there? Well, I noticed on the consuela and i planted a few of consuelas because i like you see i like the beef ones where's it there look at even with like a scissor clean cut it's still kind of upset the plant do you know what i mean and it's just that plant that variety look it's there it's there so every cut i did on on the consuela it just took I don't know if it's zapped it's in. I mean, there's still going, there's still tomatoes there, everything, but I just noticed that I went, oh, right. There's a rotten one there. Let me get rid of that. So, filled water up, both of them all yesterday as well. All looking good. I did get a cucumber off here the other day, so that's picked back up. Give it in. Everyone said, nitrogen, so on, nitrogen. So, I'm hoping I'm just kind of. Skin, get them up the top and then skin these cucumbers around. You can see they're starting to come again. So it certainly picked it up. I need to actually cut off the suckers on them. But there, look at There's the tomato sucker. That's me entry into the tomato sucker challenge. If you pop onto Discord, you'll have a look there. And there's actually a, a place to put your photographs of your suckers. Right. So that's just so just on that plant, just must not like being getting trimmed. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, I did pick a, a, a chili pepper, the jalapeno here as well. Because that that was the one that actually I was showed on the potty you know, mouth, the cork and one where it like creases and splits. There's just loads of flowers on them. I'm hoping I did show you 
actually the video that look at this bloody hundreds on well not hundreds there's probably about 10 aubergines on that one do you know what i mean so but these are here for tomatoes let me go down because i did this video yesterday yesterday evening look pretty brilliant time as well they're still there so we'll have a little look at them right then let's get down and show you me wares right then so first up is i'm, I'm chuffed a bit with me beef tomatoes burlesque this is a burlesque one is that right yes burlesque and i've got and i took them i took some of them actually quite early just to you know like i was saying just to give the plant a little bit more kind of time to you know because um, these are an early crop but it's kind of stripped me plants so i'm hoping they come back and we actually the outdoor ones haven't even you know they've just got little tiny tomatoes on so there we go but i'm looking forward to them like you say now i've only getting and i don't think there's even many on but just mentioned a, a strange named plant which was called <laughs> pork chop now at this moment i've only got one pork chop which is i think this is the pork chop i've had to re-watch my video because my little label machine is great for early on labeling but doesn't like long time in the sun in a polytunnel so I've, i'm going to be back to pencil i think once i kind of put them out so that is a pork chop one i think i hope i've got it right and won't win any awards a little bit of scarring on that now <laughs> one of the mistakes i made yesterday <laughs> totally oblivious i confessed in the end but obviously you didn't see that video is i've got quite a few of these and i've just lovely tomato you know lovely tomato and i'm saying you know brad's atomic and it was <laughs> brad's atomic i was saying how good the color looks and everything like that this is a black moon tomato and to be honest the shape is a little bit slightly different from a brad's atomic and <laughs> different color do you know what i mean i mean brad's atomic is our favorite so i'm hoping i put four plants in that you know early on so but this has got a lovely taste the black moon you can get this from Yena growing local. So these are my first pickings of Brad's Atomic. And and everyone's I get loads of messages with the Brad's. How do you tell them when they're ripe? And it's a di difficult thing, but you just honestly you just kind of feel and just if you know what like a tomato feels like when you buy it from the shop, that it's probably not gonna go you know, this kind of multi kind of amazing colour. But I'm not bothered to be honest, but it stays like that and it's it's just like you can just see it firm you know what i mean it's just nice ripe for picking so now this one i've had a couple off this plant and i think this is the i think this is my lucky dip one which is the oh, alice's dream i think now i'm again i might be totally wrong but it's coming off the lucky dip one so it's got that kind of you know dark head going down to a, a blush i'm not sure i'll have to ask jess on the potty if that's if that's the key if that is one or not but i've had a couple of these and i, I didn't give them to my daughter but oh the taste is lovely and apparently this pork chop is really nice as well so with most of these i'll probably just be slicing them up a little bit of salt mild and salt olive oil and that's it do you know what i mean that's it so what else have i got in here i've got some i didn't pick the 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 toddler or the burlesque they're just like the cherry ones which i mentioned before they're just you know I just, they're coming all the time and i'm just picking them and just putting them in they're the kind of main salad ones at the moment do you know what i mean so i'm hope what i'm hoping is because they're little and the kind of the turnover is amazing i'm just going to keep on hopefully them going to be my staple throughout the the season these are just one-off specials if you like well at the moment that is a one-off special do you know what i mean what else? So, oh, i got 
So I did get a few, sorry I'm wrong, I'm wrong there again. I did get a few of those, which I think are Alice's dreams. So I'm not sure. But that's what they say about the pork chop is or, or heirlooms in, in principle. You know what I mean? You don't get that many, but you get the flavour. So you've got to kind of balance it up. So um, that's why actually I've got loads. I've got them crimson crush outside and then I've got a whole load more just up there. So that was just, actually, I brought it down to be honest. That was the, it's nearly, I didn't realise there was a little bit of green on it. This is the jalapeno that's got the cracking on this and it's called corking and it just feels rough like cork. You know what I mean? But I'm hoping Audrey gives us a, the recipe for stuff because I've got quite a few jalapenos there. Now, there's actually a couple of things. I'll put glasses down there. No, I better put them there. There was a couple of green ones came off in the in the picking as well, which is, that is the Rebel Starfighter one. And it's just, I didn't pick any because I've just picked them about, well, I'd say a week ago now. So. I'm hoping that the next batch comes through and they look like they are but this one kind of fell off so that is a rebel starfighter one there now i, I grew that rebel starfighter for the name <laughs> That's, i'll be honest do you know what i mean so i'm yet to kind of taste them but which which one there i'll show you this one this is another one of those like space themed name ones this is the oh, something suns <laughs> Like, no, I've just looked it up as well. What's it called? Give us a quick second. Lithium Sunset. I think I think that's what it's called. Lithium Sunset. So that's a lovely looking one. Do you know what I mean? What? That's just probably a, a favourite one. But with these ones, you always get that kind of <laughs> twisted, ugly, <laughs> ugly looking ones as well. But they're starting to come thick and... Th oh, they just... Gorgeous looking tomato, well, thick and fast. You know, I've got quite a few of of these ones. So, I mean, even like the dinky little ones are nice. Do you know I mean they're, they're just lovely to to like colour up a salad, you know, or a plate? Again, one of them kind of came off. <laughs> you know, I'd, maybe it'll go red. I'm not sure, but yeah. At this moment, I'm loving. Well. I love them, the Rebel Starfighter. Do you know what I mean? It's science fiction. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it looks amazing. And the Lithium Sunset look gorgeous as well. I'm chuffed with me, me big beef ones because I want some beef ones. I think next year though, I'm going to grow, I'm going to try and get grafted beef ones. Now, the ones I used to get from a company that stopped doing them, which is such a shame, was Berlingo. I think they were called Grafted Berlingo. And the, the I've had, off like say one plant, I think I've had four at the moment. You'd get about eight from that first picking. Then you'd get another set, man, just if you can get a grafted one. I mean, they were in garden centres, but they were like 5 99 I think, for one tomato plant. It was just, you know, you'd get four. You'd pretty, you know, you're over 20 quid. So that is me, me, me first big haul I and mean, i've had the odd one but that's my first big haul at the moment there we go look after yourselves take good care <laughs>